work for days. Fiber schmiber. I need my protein. I'm not going to get by on that rabbit food. People have been arguing about this for years. Should we eat meat or not? Well, what did nature intend for us to be vegetarians or carnivores? Let's settle this once and for all. Be back in a minute. Here at the Metro Toronto Zoo, there are animals with all kinds of dietary habits. At one end of the spectrum, we have the carnivores, animals like the tiger, the cheetah, the lion. They rarely, if ever, eat any plant matter. At the other end of the spectrum, we have the vegetarians, also known as the herbivores. This group includes creatures like the antelope, water buffalo, and reindeer. They survive mainly on a diet of grass and other vegetation. So what animals do humans resemble most? Well, if we compare ourselves to them, maybe we can figure out where we fit in in the dietary spectrum. A carnivore has to catch its food. It does this by biting it, usually in the throat. Then it must be able to rip the flesh off the bones. But a herbivore doesn't have to capture its food. Grass and leaves just sit around waiting to be devoured. The teeth of all animals have evolved to cope with the type of diet they have. The first thing you'll notice about a carnivore are fangs in the front of the mouth. These are called canine teeth. They're sharp and long, perfect for grabbing and holding prey and for tearing meat. The teeth in the back are called canatials. They have long, sharp edges designed for slicing flesh. These babies are capable of cracking open solid bone. Now, compare this to a herbivore. There are no fangs. Since a herbivore doesn't have to catch its food, there's no need for canine teeth. Instead, it relies on these. Incisors to snip grass like a pair of hedge clippers. In the back are molars. They're nice and flat, which are perfect for grinding plant matter to a pulp. Now look in the mirror and check out how your own teeth compare. You'll notice you have all three kinds. Incisors for snipping, small canines for biting, and molars for grinding. So if carnivores are like this Ginsu knife, perfect for slicing, and herbivores are like this mortar and pestle, great for grinding, then humans are like this Vegematic. It slices, dices, makes perfect french fries. Humans are a generic model. We can chew just about anything. Oh, I suppose my lettuce is limp by now. So we can eat whatever we want. Does that mean you're gonna let me eat my steak in peace now? <laughs> well, Mike, there's more to all of this than just chewing. I mean, after you've chewed, you still have to digest your food, right? Oh, hang on a minute. If you stretched a carnivore's digestive tract into a straight line, you'd find it was about three times the length of the creature's body. But if you did the same thing with a herbivore's digestive tract, you'd find it's about 16 times the length of its body. Why the big difference? It takes longer to extract energy and nutrients from plant matter. That's why plant eaters need longer digestive tracts. But meat eaters don't, because the energy and nutrients in meat are more accessible. So how long is the human digestive tract? Well, it's somewhere in between. It's about 12 times the length of our body. This allows us to digest both flesh and plant matter. So, humans aren't carnivores or herbivores, we're omnivores, which means we're dietary fence-sitters. We uh, swing both ways. Our teeth and digestive tract are capable of digesting this or that. Great, great. So I can eat as much steak as I want then, right? Uh, wrong. We can eat both, but exclusive eating of one or the other can cause problems. Ever notice that all herbivores seem to do is eat? In contrast, carnivores may laze around for days between meals. Why? Protein. To create things like hair, skin, and muscles, the body needs protein, and there's lots of it in meat. But you've got to eat an awful lot just to get a small amount of protein from grass. As a result, herbivores can spend as much as 18 hours a day doing nothing but chewing. See, I told you. Rabbit food. No, it just means vegetarians have to be more careful than meat eaters about getting protein. They can get all they need from the right combination
options of nuts, grains, tofu. Tofu? I'm gonna stick with my steak. It's more straightforward. Yeah, but uh, steak doesn't have any cellulose. Cellulose? All plants contain cellulose. It's the tough, stringy material that holds the plant together. Herbivores have more than one stomach and special bacteria in their intestines to help digest the cellulose. We don't, so cellulose just passes right through us. It's the one thing in plants that humans can't digest. But that doesn't mean it's not an important part of our diet. Cellulose provides bulk in our digestive tract and keeps things moving. Without it, things would get backed up. This will not do. There. Hmm? Have some of my veggies. Oh, no, not the veggies, no. And, um, with the steak. I'll have some of your steak. Oh, hey, who? There you go. Oh, hold well, on, that's half the steak. It's for your own good, Mike. Oh, come this on. Is, come on. This no, is... hey, 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 that's my steak. No, no.